let's go ahead and get this moon amulet. Ah! Staying alive, staying alive. Defeated! Ooh, we got the diamond am amulet! <laughs> Subscribe and hit that bell button to join the Bright Army and be part of the Bright and Early Squad! Welcome back, Brights! I'm Sabrina Bright, and today on Terabyte Games, we are doing some epic stuff in Bee Swarm Simulator, but before we get into it, let's do a bright like spike. If you're new to the channel, we do something where we, we pet our, our little dog Spike on the back, and we, we hit that like button at the exact same time, and we watch those likes fly up. You guys ready? One, two, three, smash that like button with your finger. I, I changed it today. That's right. Just pet it. Pet it nicely. Don't crack your screen. A lot of people have been cracking their screens with their head lately. Don't do that. <laughs> I've done a lot of off-camera work because this game is the most time-consuming game I've probably ever played. And honestly, I still love this game somehow. <laughs> As you can see, I have, let's, let's look. I have a total of 36 bees. I have, I believe, 16 or 15 gifted bees right now. We have this star egg right here that I want to put into another, another spot, but the next hive spot for me costed 380 million honey. So I just spent forever grinding to get that and we now have 384 million. And a good way to grind, guys, is to use codes. If you go to the Bee Swarm Simulator wiki there's a list of codes you can use but don't do them all at once because they'll put a boost on a field and you don't want to have them all going at once because then you know you're, you can't be in all the places at once so uh, do them one at a time and that's probably the fastest way to get honey oh welcome back brights <laughs> oh <laughs> i'm a big fan here oh thank you we're gonna get the hiking boots today so basically sun bear the bear that's kind of right behind me right there um is a traveler bear and comes here every once in a while and we'll We'll have like quests to do where we can get something. Last time it was the Mondo belt bag, but this time it's the beekeeper's boots. And basically, there's three parts to this quest. You get the basic boots, then you get the hiking boots, and then you get the beekeeper's boots. Of course, it's really hard to get the beekeeper's boots. I and mean, there's a ton of quests you do um, between each pair of boots that you earn. And then you just get upgrades for your boots. So right now, I currently have the basic boots on, and they just give me like a little extra jump and speed. Ooh, a rare seedling sprouted. Hmm. But we're gonna upgrade to the hiking boots. I'm actually gonna pull up wiki right now to see the exact stats on this. All right, so I'm on the Bee Swarm Simulator wiki, and so this is the boot quest. So I've done all of these, and I'm on battle for the boots. And I just finished it, and I'm about to redeem my hiking boots. So this is what I'm gonna get. 250,000 honey, three times tickets. Um, and the hiking boots give you plus six move speed, plus 10 jump power, and plus six movement collection. So it's it's a nice little upgrade, but we really want to get to those beekeeper's boots. So let's go ahead and get those, and then we're also going to get a new bee. I can't wait. We're going to get a new gifted bee. So let's talk to Sun Bear. All right, all right. All that action really picked me up. So yeah, I did a lot of like, uh, if you didn't know, these quests are just you going and doing like specific things for the bear. Um, this last one that I did was collect 500 focus tokens, defeat 50 ants, and defeat four werewolves. So that was the one I'm doing now. I've got to say, your bees are pretty terrifying when they're in the battle mode. I love it though. You've kept me thoroughly entertained since I got here. So here you are, some hiking boots. Those are some well-crafted boots, let me tell you. Durable, but still comfortable. Perfect for getting around this place like this getting around a place like this. These offer more speed and collection than basic boots, but most importantly, they allow you to jump higher. Great, great for traversing rocks and cliffs. Happy? You're welcome. Go ahead and test them out. Oh my gosh, look at them. Ah, that's cool. All right, let's start the next one. Tokens popping out of flowers is something you don't see just anywhere. And those big sprout things, let me tell you, I've been all around the world and I've never seen anything like those before. Now hear me out. I bet they are pretty happy with your hike. Hiking boots. Uh, yeah, I am. But I see you're starting to want beekeeper's boots like mine, don't you? That's right, Sun Bear. These babies are the top of the line. They don't get any finer than this. So here's my proposal. <laughs> I can't read. My proposal. Complete three more quests and I'll give you a pair of your own. But those three quests are going to be hard, so it's going to take a while. But these aren't just any quests. I want to see it all. I drove a long way to get here, so I'm going to make it worth my while. First up, those tokens I was talking about. Collect 50 sunflower seed tokens, 50 blueberries tokens, 50 strawberry tokens, 50 pineapple tokens, 150 tree tokens, 250 
150 haste tokens and main event. Collect 100 tokens from Sprouts. Man, Sunbear, you are demanding. We got a lot of work to do. Oops, I did not want to do that. Oh my gosh. Oh, also, I saved up and we are getting the moon amulet. So if you didn't know, there's a new amulet you can get and it's right here. I'm going to actually go ahead and get that right now. I have 124 moon charms. You get moon charms from fireflies. So at night, like it'll turn nighttime and it's only nighttime for a couple minutes. So you gotta be quick. Um, you go and you touch all the fireflies. They'll all fly up and they release like a moon charm and you get it and you have to try to like do as many times as you can before the sun comes up. And that's how you get moon charms. So let's go ahead and get this moon amulet. Oh my gosh. 25,000 container space, plus 5% bond from treats, and plus 53% pollen from pineapple patch. Nice. Of course I want to replace it because I didn't have one before. That's awesome. Wow, 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 wow. All right, so we have a moon charm now. Woo! Oops, I didn't mean to fall. Wait, where's my amulets though? I thought you could see- Oh, there it is. See, there's the moon charm right there. That's awesome! My hopes are I'm gonna get the next bee. My my next gift to be right now. We gotta use this cannon. I gotta go get another hive spot. It's gonna cost me like all my honey. That's okay. Because we're getting a gift to be and I hope that I can get a diamond amulet in the ant challenge. I know it's possible for right, right now for me to meet, beat the ant challenge and get a diamond amulet, but for some reason I always die so close to getting it. I literally, my highest is 99. I was so mad because you need 100 to get the ant amulet. Uh, so let's go ahead and get this hive spot. Now I'm broke. Got so, I just spent so much honey. Oh my god. Oh, hey guys, look, it's a stinger. Yes. Okay, so this is new with the update as well. The bees fight the vicious bee and stingers pop up on the ground where those red dots appear. You can't, just don't get hurt by them. And you gotta wait for your bees to defeat Vicious Bee and you will receive like one or two stingers. And once you get 250 stingers, you can go get Vicious Bee. And that's definitely a really hard bee to, to have. Like, I don't know, does anybody have Vicious Bee yet? Cause I don't, even buying like all the game passes, I don't have, I don't have enough. But right now I have, let's see. Oops, I got hurt. I have 207 stingers and you need 250, so I'm pretty close right now. Oh my goodness. Come on, bees, get them! It's a level seven. Oh, I need that. I gotta stay close to it because I think the closer I am, like more bees, more of my bees stay like attacking it. If I walk away, the bees will try to like follow me. But I don't want to get hit by the stingers. Ah! Oh my gosh. This is just chaos. Literally chaos. <laughs> <laughs> what the heck? I need another uh, angry thing. <laughs> staying alive, staying alive. All right, we're we almost we're almost done. We almost got it. I gotta get this, guys, because this is so like uh, rare. This rarely happens. I need this. I need these stingers. Oh my gosh! I think we're almost done. Oh my gosh! Come on, come on! You're almost done, bees. It's almost done. Oh, oops! I just got stung. That's not good. And Vicious B is defeated! So I got th uh, three stingers from that. Nice. Sometimes you only get one or two, but I got three that time. Anyway, let's. Oh, now it's nighttime! Um, but I already got the. You can actually get the moon amulet more than once, and every time you purchase it, it will actually give you better stats each time. But I think there's like a cap, and I think once you get to like the fourth or fifth one, it goes starts going back down, which is kind of weird. But those are the fireflies. I just want to show you real quick what you have to do. Oh, there's another one here! Another stinger thing! Guys, I can't avoid. I, I gotta do this. Literally, got, I have to do this. All right, I'm gonna get the fireflies at the same time if I can. You gotta just touch the fireflies. And then right there, moon amulet. Oh my gosh, but I gotta, I gotta beat this bee because I need these stingers. We gotta get vicious bee. And that's right here is where you get vicious bee actually. See, 250. Oh, we, we beat it. How do we beat it so quick? This, did I have help? So I got one stinger from that one. Oh, so maybe like they're different levels, the bees. I guess the one up there was like level seven was more, was harder to be so you get more stingers. I don't know. 
But now we have an empty spot up here and we're gonna open a star egg. Are you guys ready? We're, we're about to get a gifted bee that I don't already have. Please let it be lion bee because that's the only bee I haven't discovered yet. Here we go. We got a gifted diamond bee! That's awesome. Let's go look at the gifted stats. That's amazing. So we got plus 10% blue pollen for our gifted bonus. I kind of wish it had something to do with attack, but that's okay. And let's see. Oh, and my star journey is almost done. I just, those blue boost tokens, man. I got 3.3 thousand out of 7.5 thousand. That's insane. All right, so now we have another bee. Um, I kind of want to upgrade it. Diamond bee likes blueberry. Of course I don't have any blueberry treats. All right, I've been giving all my sunflower seeds to this looker bee right here just because I want to focus all the treats on it to upgrade it. And also I've been giving all my pineapples to fire bee. I want to get them to a level nine eventually. Oh my goodness, wait, what, what are they saying? <laughs> Once upon a time, I ate food. Do you think story good? What? <laughs> so the next thing I want to do is see if we can get a diamond ant amulet. I really, really need this this diamond ant amulet. I feel like it's going to help me get honey faster. How cool would it be, though, to get the, uh, what is it, supreme amulet? I don't remember what it's called, but it's the one that you have to get 150 for. I think it's 150. Oh my goodness. So basically... The, uh, I hate the flying ants. Those are the ones that always give me the worst. But what I try to do is always have ants out and try to- I try really hard to have as many out as I can but still survive. Just so I can get the furthest I- like, I don't know. But when there's a big ant though, I try to let them like kind of attack it a lot first. Because it, it's always crowding me and making me feel overwhelmed and trying to attack me. See, these ants I'm fine with. They don't really attack me. I could just stand here and they won't come after me. <laughs> but the ones that come after me, man, I don't like those. All right, we got, we got a, oh no. Come on. Oh, I level, oh, I thought it was gonna be something else. My diamond bee leveled up. That's cause it was only a level one. <laughs> yeah, I probably should have got treats and gave my diamond bee some treats. That might have helped. Ah, I hate the flying ants. Uh, it's gonna be so hard for me to get the diamond amulet. I can't believe how close I got. Like two times I got 98, one time I got 99. Oh, uh, it's so sad. Now I have three ants chasing me and a lawnmower. Great, I need that angry bee thing. Ah! All right, we got, we got the big ant. Honestly, 52 at two minutes is kind of bad for me. I think I've done better. So I don't think we're gonna get it in this round. Stupid flying ants, man, they always get me. Get those flying ants, bees, attack! Oh, okay. Woo! All right, I only have a minute left and I'm at 73. It's gonna start getting really hard because of all the lawnmowers. Ah! Oh my gosh. 46 seconds! Oh man, I don't know if I can pull this off, guys. We only, we're only at 85! Give me more ants! Oh great, that was probably a mistake. Oh no. It's like lagging. Ah! There's too much going on. Ah! Too many. No! <laughs> I got to 90. I told you, I always get so close. Uh, and the old one's better. All right, well, we didn't get the di diamond ant amulet, but that wasn't for nothing because I'm on this quest right now for panda bear called Royal Rumple, and you get a star egg, I think? Either a star treat or a star egg after you finish the one I'm on. And I need to kill nine more giant ants. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna level up this diamond bee that we just got and get it higher because it's only a level two. So let's go buy some treats just bought a thousand treats and that's how we uh, are gonna level it up we're given all these treats to diamond b all right all right so now it's a level six i'd say that's a really good start i just really wish i had lion b guys because lion b has a, a lot of attack i think it has the most attack out of all of the bees and it's the one b i don't have like why me 
Um, I have 59 royal jellies, so I'm actually gonna go ahead and use those on a repeat bee. So let's see. Hmm, I think since we just got gifted diamond bee, I'm gonna do it on this diamond because it, its attack is only one and I need more attack. So we need like another commander bee or something. So let's go ahead. Transform diamond bee. Com I got commander bee the first time. What the heck? <laughs> Should I keep commander bee? Let's well, hold up. Let's see how much attack points we got out of that because I know it has more okay it has three and I think that lion bee let's see lion bee has attack of five ninja bee has attack of three okay so I feel like I'm actually gonna keep it I only used one royal jelly <laughs> all right so oh thank you I'm determined guys I gotta get this amulet oh, man all right so I'm gonna give it another shot we're gonna get a lot of ants out here Woo! That's a lot of, uh, military, whatever you call them, ants. What are those called? Army ants. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Ah! This is getting intense. Are you kidding me? The lawnmowers are getting way too fast. Oh my gosh, dude. Oh my gosh. Why can't I get this amulet? Oh my goodness. I'm cursed. Oh, hey, look. But this one has plus one B attack power. Hmm. This one has better stats. An equal conversion rate. I finally got one that's better. Every time I've done this, I got a, all, all the time. It was worse than the old one. Oh man. All right, we're replacing that. I might be able to beat it now that I have plus one B attack. <sighs> but I'm probably gonna have to do that off camera because this video is getting super long. Ooh, someone, someone summoned a honey storm. Well, I feel pretty accomplished. I got my new boots. Ooh, someone summoned a rare seedling. We've got to find that seedling. Oh, it's all the way up there. But we we uh, found stingers two times, or uh, vicious bee two times. We are now doing um, a rare seedling. So if you've never seen this before, basically we have to like break this. And once it breaks, it releases a bunch of goodies like treats and tickets and royal jellies. And it's pretty awesome and helpful. And the more rare it is the the better so this one's a this was a rare one i know there's rare epic um regular i don't really know if there's any more than those but those are the ones i've seen so we got our moon amulet we got our boots we got some more stingers i showed you the fireflies and i showed you the uh the seedlings i feel like this was a pretty eventful episode and not to mention we got a new bee a new gifted bee Oh my goodness, it grew. It means it's almost, uh, like the more it grows, the further you are to uh, breaking it down, I guess. I don't really know what you're doing to it, but <laughs> it grows as you collect it. Everyone's gonna fight for the goodies. Oh no, my bag. I can't break anymore, my bag is full. <laughs> oh man, but uh, it's gonna break in a second. I have to, I have to stay up here and collect all the... All the stuff! See? Stuff just spawns. Royal jellies, tickets, treats of all sorts. Oh, oh my gosh. This is just epic. Woo! I love that sound. <laughs> so rewarding. Oh my gosh. So I think my next task here is I'm about to finish that quest for panda bear. I'm gonna get a star egg, I think. So I need to save up more honey for the next hive spot and it's gonna be really, really expensive. Probably like 400 million. But we're gonna get another bee in the next episode and hopefully I've got the diamond ant amulet and hopefully I'll have 20 gifted bees so I can go get that uh, next star amulet. I just wanna be OP, you know? Guys, I I literally stopped recording because I was done with the video and I got it. I'm at 111. I'm I, how am I at 111? What's happening? Oh my gosh. Dude, I got the diamond ant ambulance. Oh my goodness. If you're new, make sure you do hit that subscribe button to join the Bright Army. And also make sure to turn the bell button on so that you can become part of the Bright and Early Squad and never miss a video. And I hope you guys enjoyed this. Have a wonderful day. Bye.